Next up, we have factoring using reverse FOIL. And we're going to actually factor to solve because we have it equal to zero here. So we're going to solve it as well. Well, we also might know this as AM method. So you may have heard, heard it either way, reverse FOIL or AM method. They work pretty much the same. I like to set it up with this X thing here. And I want to add to negative 7, I want to multiply to negative 18. So we're going to add here, we're going to multiply here, AM method. Well, fancy that. All right, so if I'm multiplying negative 18, I want to think of those factors. Well, I have 2 and 9, 3 and 6. Well, let's think about 2 and 9. Can I get those to add to negative 7? Well, one of them's got to be negative. One's going to be positive because it has to multiply to negative 18. It's got to add up to negative 7. So there we go. I get negative 9 and 2. So we get x minus 9, x plus 2. That equals 0. Now I can set each factor equal to 0. I get x minus 9 equals 0. x plus 2 equals 0. And I'm off with x equals 9. And x equals negative 2. Coming back to you? Hope so. Let's try another. Once again, let's set up this x here. Adding to 11, multiplying to negative 26. Well, what multiplies to negative 26 and adds to 11? Well, my factors, I know that one of them is 13 and 2. I don't think there's any other factors for 26. And if I had positive 13 and negative 2, that multiplies to negative 26. And that adds up to 11. We're good to go. x plus 13. x minus 2. And that equals 0. Set them equal to 0, each factor. I get x equals negative 13. There's 1. And I have x minus 2 equals 0. So we get x equals positive 2. There's my two answers. Now some of you might be saying, I thought this was a longer process. I thought there was, there was a little bit more going on in between here. You may be thinking of rainbow method, which we will be doing soon. Don't you worry. Rainbow method is coming your way. Uno mas, uno mas. Let's do one more here because I know you love doing this and you can use the practice too. Once again, we're going to do that x. We want to add to 11, multiply to 28. AM method, A, M, add, multiply. Boom. All right, if I want to multiply to 28, let's think of my factors. How about 7 and 4? Does that work? Ooh, 7 plus 4 adds up to 11. 7 times 4 gives me 28. There we go. We're x plus 7. x plus 4 equals 0. So I get x plus 7 equals 0. x plus 4 equals 0. I get x equals negative 7. And then x equals negative 4. Boom. My two answers. Dunzo. Now if it just asked you to factor it and not factor and solve, you would just leave it as x plus 7 times x plus 4. If it asks you to solve, you go that step further. So if it asks you to solve, you got to go further. If it just asks you to factor, you can leave it like that.